Hi, Kofi. How you, sir? How you doing? Happy belated birthday to the Leo love. Hey, Leo. <laughs> was, you know how we, you know how we do. Pretty clear, right? Well, we, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <clears throat> I want to know as, as uh, just as perspective, uh, being born outside of the, the U.S., uh, Dutch country, like what perspective does that give you on our stories? I know you've done Dutch movies and done these movies, like these stories, do you feel like you have like different perspective on having uh, outside of the U.S. and uh, being here and being like, once you're here, you're black American, like, you know, that's what they just like throw you into that. Like how, do you think that gives you like different perspectives on our stories? Oh, that's a very, that's a very good so question. That's, a, that's question. a great question. I think for me coming to the United States, it was, I started off maybe a little bit naive uh, and not really expecting to have to get to know myself better, like what it means to be a black woman and all the different, like, how do you create this 360 black identity? You know, you want to, <laughs> you know, you want to go full circle. Mm -hmm. And initially, I thought that, you know, I would come here and just kind of blend in, mm -hmm. which I do from to a certain point, but then you have to be very um, aware of the fact that I also have like a different point of view when it comes to certain things. And we had a lot of conversations about that, like what it means for black American culture, mm -hmm. but also what it means for black culture on a, you know, the diaspora, like that's like, that's a really huge part in, in what we're doing with this film. And I think, you know, people back home are gonna relate to it as well. And back home could be the Netherlands, but my parents are from Suriname, shout out to both countries. And it's just interesting to see that even there, people are like, we need this, we needed this. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very good and important mm -hmm. for us to be aware of the fact that this is not, this is gonna transcend borders, mm -hmm. physical borders. Mm -hmm. This is gonna bring us closer to each other, hopefully, mm -hmm. and like build those bridges. So yeah, that's something that definitely gave me a new perspective into what it means to be that to to look for that three hundred and sixty identity. Absolutely, yeah. Kofi, uh, I I would show it to you, but my girl would be embarrassed. But this, you know, your character Isaiah got me inspired, and I did like a little sketch of my girl while she was. <laughs> Can we see it? I would love to see it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, he's like, I'm gonna go little, grab like, that. You got and the Basquiat thing going on, That's okay? That's funny. I don't, yeah. I don't, see, I don't, I don't, it's, it's one of my She was on the phone and this little crew, that's but you're know, like, bro. Hey, that's, that's my first. That. That's hard. That's you know, hard. You know, I might have my little solo show coming up soon. Hey. Ah. <laughs> sure you can send the guest this, you know. That's funny. As <laughs> so, I want to, like, uh, how inspired are you? I, I, I know you probably, do you have some art at your house, Kofi? Like, how, uh, are you like into this art world at all? Like, how did you relate to this character, Isaiah, as an artist? I think I related more to Gerald who actually made the art. You know, I can't say that um, I'm in the art world. I love art. I'm a huge fan of art. I do think the art world could be a little pretentious sometimes. Mm. That being said, there's no value you could actually put on dope art. You know what I'm saying? So. I think I was just inspired by the community that's um actually like under underrepresented of artists who are really really amazing but don't you know meet some type of status quo whatever like it's crazy but like there's really 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 dope people out here like Gerald who are just making amazing like you know mind blowing art like mm -hmm. on a daily basis for no for no reason you know and mostly and, and most of the time not for recognition so it just it opens up your mind to the fact that there's so like we're so there's so many of us and artists in all facets musicians painters dancers you know you know writers poets you know everything you know and it's like yeah it just opens your mind up to that just in in a, in a very i guess general micro but also macro way like wow like i just want to meet all of the artists of the world and i pray that they have a space to express themselves truthfully and wholly you know so um yeah, that's the yeah, it sparks sparks a little something, you know what I'm saying, for sure. Well, shout outs to you guys and shout outs to Macro for, for making this film, uh help making this film happen. I can't wait to see all the things you guys got coming up. My mom's from Curacao, so I'm very familiar with Dutch countries like uh like like you are. Oh, like you oh, saying, oh, um, amazing. Curacao, yeah, so yeah. Peace out to y'all. Thank you for the time. Hey, good to see you again. Nice bro. to meet you.